How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another JHR review. And today we're going to be looking at the difference between these bourbon chocolates and these bourbon white chocolate kind of sticks, it looks like. Let's go ahead and set this one down first. We're going to pull this in and take a closer look. So if we look at the packaging right here, it kind of looks as though there's kind of like a wafering on the top. And then there's like some kind of maybe center, or maybe that's chocolate on the top and the wafers in the middle. It looks like they're all individually packaged in here, which is really nice. If we turn around to the back, we can get some nutritional information. It says there's 19 grams of sugar, 9 point grams of fat, uh, 9.0 grams of fat and 40 milligrams of sodium, and a serving size for all that is about four. So that's not too bad. Gives a cute little diagram on how to open the packaging. And then it has a lot of the other writing in Japanese. So that's this one. Let's go ahead and open it up and pull one out. There we go. I opted to open it the way on the, the way that they showed it on the diagram. Go ahead and slide these out. There we go. Let me zoom in on them right there. You can kind of see how they look in the packaging. Kind of like a uh, stick. Kind of reminds me of like um, a Kit Kat if they were just. Um, individually packaged. And right here we have kind of the same thing, but these ones have kind of like an outside kind of thing, and it's kind of like a pool of chocolate in the middle, which is really interesting. And packaging is nice and shiny. Gives another diagram on how to open it up at the top, but this one right here if you look right there, it actually shows how to open the other ones as well, the preferred way, probably to not um, mess up the packaging or the candy inside. And here at the top, if we zoom in on the nutrition, 18 grams of sugar, 9 grams fat, same as the other one, 80 grams of sodium on this one, per four as well. Let's go ahead and open it up. And let's slide it out. kind of satisfying. These ones are all laid in there really nice. The other ones didn't come out like that. They're all kind of neatly stacked in here. And there's a lot of them too. Looks as though there's actually two of them in a pack. Let's go ahead and set this to the side. Then grab one of these as well. So these are the bourbon chocolate ones. And they're actually double stacked in here, which is really nice. So you get uh, two of them in one pack pretty thick kind of cookie on the outside. And you can see the kind of chocolate in the middle of the wafer. Some Japanese writing. And then, uh, yeah. So these are them side by side. I'd say this one is uh, substantially larger, even though they're both the same price. Let's go ahead and open these up and see what they taste like. the second one. Chocolate looks pretty good. Wafering is uh, pretty crispy to the touch. And let's go ahead and try it out. It's not bad. It's actually, um, a lot lighter. It's not a rich cookie. 
It's very um, light on its notes. <clears throat> I'd say this would be a really good cookie to have maybe with some tea. Um, the chocolate doesn't have like a really rich flavor, but it is a very good complement to the crispy kind of butteriness of the actual cookie. And as you see there, you get a pretty substantial amount of chocolate all the way through to the end. So that's very nice. And also a bonus that there's um, a second one. So let's go ahead and open this white chocolate one. This one is very easy to open. Kind of hard to pick it up because it's right next to the light, but it just looks like white chocolate. And then it's covered all the way on the outside. So let's go ahead and try this one out. Hmm, very light taste as well. These are definitely um, cookies for like a, maybe like a friend or tea occasion. But um, the crispiness of this wafer on the inside is actually really good. I don't know if you can see that flaking off right there. Look at that. It's really good. The white chocolate complements it at the very end, like a very nice, subtle, like chocolate note but you do get a lot of wafer taste versus chocolate taste, as you can see. There's more chocolate taste in the other one. But I'm a bigger fan of white chocolate, so I really enjoyed this one. What do you guys think? Do you think you guys would enjoy this one because of the substantial amount of chocolate in it? Or would you enjoy this one because of the nice, crispy wafer covered in that light layer of milk chocolate? Let me know in the comments below. A huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.